preach. Today is Mother's Day. You are aware of that. Yeah, so the topic is, is very clear. Honor your mother. Yeah, just tell your neighbor. The topic is very clear. Honor your mother. Yes. Honor your mother. Eh? Yeah. The topic is very clear. Honor your mother. Yeah. The topic is what? It's very clear. Honor your mother. Yeah. That's, that, that is a command. Yes, Lord. Yeah. We, 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 we have to, when we read the Bible, we must differentiate between suggestions and commands. You must differentiate between a suggestion and a command. This one is not a suggestion. Yeah. It's a command. And every time God commands a human being to do something, is that God knows that they will not voluntarily do it. Yeah, they, they will not do it. That's why he commands. The, the, the reason why the Bible has commandment is that when he said love your neighbor, <laughs> it means he knows that your biggest tra trouble is your neighbor. And you struggle with loving your neighbor. When he says love your enemies, eh? when he says love your, pray for your enemies, it means that in your prayer list, you will not voluntarily put your enemy. The only time you put them, you say they die. So he said, pray for them. So God is commanding you and I. And I is commanding, I'm going to be very brief. And my scriptures don't change. Yeah, so let's go to them. They are not going to change. Ephesians 6, verse 1 to verse 3. The scriptures are not going to change. Let, let's read it. Because I want us to, 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 to honor our mothers. And I'm going to be very brief. Because I want us to pray. Uh, because to others this day, it's a day of pain. To others, Perhaps you feel that your mother is not mothering. Perhaps you feel that your mother is not mothering. You, and you feel you could do a better job. Well, we're going to wait for you. We can't comment now. We will wait for your children to be your age. But I'm sent here by God for you with one word from God. It says, children, obey your parents in the Lord. That is right. Let's go to verse 2. I want us to read verse 2 together. One, two, three, let's read. Next verse. Father, we thank you for your word. Your word is life. Your word is spirit. In Jesus' name. Amen. The scripture suggests that education doesn't guarantee that it will be well with you. This scripture suggests, well, congratulations, you speak English. Congratulations, you are educated. Congratulations, you have money. This scripture suggests that to have money alone is not enough. That, that this scripture suggests that there's a supernatural power that God has put upon your mother and your father. Yes. But today I'm talking about the mothers. Yes. That you are, they have a supernatural, that how well it goes with you. <laughs> It's not just you being an engineer. Yeah. And how long you live. It's not just you going to the gym. And eating healthy. That's some of it. But it, according to the word of God. That's a human being. That has a key. To make sure that things. Are well with you. Do you hear me?
this one. Now, to honor, there's different levels of honor. To honor is to respect. To honor is to value. To honor is to hold in high regard. Do you understand that? To honor is to hold in higher regard, is to value them. Now today, we're only going to talk about two. Well, you honor your mother by acknowledging their role in your life. Just, just tell your neighbor, you honor your mother by acknowledging their role in your life. Yeah, just tell them again. You honor your mother. Yeah, even when they are serious, you tell them you honor your mother by acknowledging their role in, in, in your life. Yes, you honor your mother by acknowledging. Just tell them one more time. You honor your mother by acknowledging their role in your life. Yeah, don't, don't buy them. Acknowledge them. Acknowledge the role they have played in your life. So you think properly and you acknowledge them. Luke 11, 27. Luke 11, 27. That's, that's all I'm going to preach about. You, you honor your mother by acknowledge. Some of you, you acknowledge your university more than your mother. No, no, no. Oh, me? I have an edge. Okay, come down. Before you had any edge, there's a mother that played a role in your life. Oh, me? Even this? Oh, me? I'm the CA. Before you could even spell C and A, there's a mother that played a role in your life. Do you get it? Ah, oh, mother, if you see my mother, hey, she will embarrass me for this. When, when did you start realizing that your mom can embarrass you? Let's read the scripture. Let's read the scripture. One, two, three, let's read. Let's read it from blessed. Don't worry, it's in the Bible. Let's read from the blessed. One, two, three, let's read. Blessed. Can you acknowledge <laughs> that I know you, you now look at yourself, you say you are a big man, but can you acknowledge that this big man was carried by a woman? I think uh, th th that's why Jesus says, if you want to be great in the kingdom of God, you have to be a child. You know, you know, children are amazing. They are amazing in their attitude and in how they honor their mothers. It's just that there are those who forget. I hope you are not the one who forgets that you were once in the womb. Just tell your neighbor. You are dressed nicely, but you were once in the womb. Yeah, you were once in the womb. Yes, yes, yes. You, you didn't fall from heaven. Just tell them, you didn't fall from heaven. Yes, tell them, you did not fall from heaven. Yeah, you did not fall from heaven. So, 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 so the womb that carried you must be blessed. But the womb that carried you, I wonder if that womb says, I'm blessed or it says, I'm cursed. I'm saying that when they look at Jesus, they, they reach a conclusion. They say, there are two blessings here. Blessed is the womb that carried you. What is the womb that carried you say about you? Yes, I'm here to preach. And this is what God said I must preach today. 
is the womb that carried you. Yes. Question, wh why? Why does God refer to the womb? Because for nine months, you were sustained by the womb. I'm surprised you think today the womb wants to carry, kill you. The best opportunity to kill you will have been in the nine months. <laughs> that God says as human beings, all of us, our mothers have errors, have mistakes. But when he come to motherhood, he mentions two things. He says, the womb carried you. They ate food they didn't like because of you. Some of you, you made your mother to eat soy. Yes. You made them to eat acha. Yeah. You made them to eat fed cook at night. Kuri, you, you changed their order. Breakfast became dinner. And dinner became breakfast because of you. So as we celebrate, because the human nature is that, now that you are independent, eh? did you hear what I said? Now that you are independent, you begin to adjust and calibrate how your mother has murdered you. But the Lord says, if you want to calibrate, please zoom into two things. Zoom into a womb. If you want to find out if she did a good job or a bad job, well, I can tell you you are alive. It means she has done a great job. Just tell your neighbor, it's the womb that bore you blessed. <laughs> Is it blessed? You can change it today. Well, I'm here sent by God. You can change it. I'm not saying that you must buy. No, I'm not talking about honoring with substance. I'm saying that in the levels of honor, the one God has sent me to talk about today is acknowledging the role you are. You know your mother was a size four. Yeah, your mother was a, a size four. And then you happened. Yes. And, and when you happened, she changed her size. She changed her size. Because of you. Yes. Oh, you didn't know that. Yes. I'm here to tell you that. That, that a lot of things in that womb changed. Because of you. Yeah. She never went back to her original position. Because of you. And all her life, it's because of you. And I'm here today, me, I'm here sent by God with a very easy message. Make sure that the womb that carried you is blessed. Amen. That's all I'm here for. I'm here to tell you that. That's all God has sent me to say. And I'm not going to say any other thing. I'm going to stick to those two points. Make sure that the womb that carried you is blessed. But I know you, when you judge her about how well she's a mother and how bad a mother is, you want to go on how she trapped you when you were, you want to go to the stuff that you can remember. Well, the Lord says, I must tell you that for nine months, do you know nine months? Do you know nine months? Do you understand nine months? Inside the womb. Yes. <laughs> Feeding you. You couldn't even drink water. She had to drink water for you. Yeah. She stopped drinking other things. Yeah. But because of you. Yes. She changed her diet because of you. And, and today God wants me to just say, you have to be like a child. You see, children are very pure. They just make a simple cut, but it's a big thing. And then they say, you know, on Friday, Kato says to me, I made a cut for mommy. Please hide it. Don't tell her. And, and I say, wow, that, that's, can we be like children? She might not have paid for your fees. But can you acknowledge at least that she carried you in her womb. 
She carried you in her womb. In fact, you, you see, children are free-spirited. They don't have stress, no blood pressure, no problems, no nothing. You understand it? God wants you to be like that. But you, you just release her. Maybe she has done you wrong when you were a teenager. Maybe she has done you wrong when you were old. But I'm saying to you that today God just wants you to be like a child. Just call her. Maybe you, you don't talk to each other. Just try today. Send a message. Call her and say thank you for carrying me for nine months. That's all. You don't need big English for that one. You don't need big English for that one. You just say thank you for carrying me for nine months. I know that you are hurt. I know that you feel that she could have done better. And fair enough, she could have done better. But God has sent me here today to tell you. But do you really acknowledge the womb that carried you? That you wouldn't be where you are if that womb didn't carry you. You wouldn't be where you are if that was. You said, no, I hustled. You know, my life, oh, it was tough when I was growing up. It was very tough. Oh, I just did everything by myself. Look, you didn't do everything by yourself because somebody carried you for nine months in the room. So you have to acknowledge that role in your life. And whether they have done that well, God says, I must tell you, they did a good job. That's why you were born. And, and uh, to a certain degree, to some of us, we are never told. But, but let me tell you, she risked her life just to give birth to you, our oh, Lord. She risked her life just to give birth to you. Yes. That perhaps to some of us, she could have died. Just to save your life. Blessed is the woman. That carried you. You were carried in a womb. And I want to ask you a favor as your pastor. Can you today acknowledge the womb that carried you? Number two. What does he say? Let's read it again. Bless this. One, two, three. Let's read Let's read. Let's say it properly. One, two, three. Let's read. Yes. You were nursed. I know now you can take care of yourself. <laughs> but, but God has sent me here to say there's a breast that nursed you. I know now you know how to do makeup. <laughs> There was a time where you could not clean up after yourself. That's a breast that nest you. I know now you eat with fork and knife. Oh, congratulations. But there was a time where you could not hold a fork or a knife. And you were nest by a breast. I know now you are a top shot. You are a big shot. You can do a lot of things by yourself. You're on your own. And that's why you feel that you can survive without your parent. You can survive without your mother. That's why the devil wants to take you through the road of unforgiveness. Because now you have money. Now you're working. Now you can survive. You can stand on your own. Oh, I don't need my mother. I can stand on my own. But today, I want to beg you by the message of God. That the breast that nest you. Can we acknowledge that you were nursed? <laughs> oh, Jesus. And, and to some of us, it was not, you were not nursed with the, the pampas and all those other things. And she cleaned up after you and raised you up. Took you to school by the grace of God. And today, I'm here to tell you, honor your mother. That's all I came here for. Honor her by acknowledging at least 
these two rooms. Do you know that if you were not nursed, you would have died? Do you know that if you were not nursed, you would have died? In your, don't be like people in their old age. When now they are old, they have money. And when they hear that to fight for their life, they spend a lot of money just so that they can live. I'm saying there's a human being that made sure that you are alive. They nest you. Just acknowledge them. Let's stand on our feet. Serve the worship team. I want us some whether your parents have passed on they are in a blessed memory but just make sure that you acknowledge that the womb carried you I understand some are complicated but today I want you to find healing and comfort in the fact that the womb carried you and that the breast nest you and, and perhaps you are here and this day brings a lot of pain and a lot of trouble I'm here to say that find healing in the fact that somebody carried you and that you were nursed. You were nursed. Just pray. I want everyone to pray. Just pray. Just pray. I want us to be in the atmosphere of prayer. Just thank God for your mother. Yes. Yeah, just start here. Just thank God for your mother. Uh, yes, as your pastor, I want you to, to, to really thank her, God for her and say, Father, I thank you that that, that she carried me. I thank you that she nursed me. I thank you that she nursed me. Lika Mandala Bosai. Lika Mandala Bosai. Libra Sata Mandala Bosai. Libra Basa Katarara. Libra Sakatarara. Lika Basatarara. Libra Sakatarara. Labra Satarara. In the name of Jesus. Well, you might be here today and this day, for whatever reason, it's a day you wish it never comes. It brings a lot of pain. I want you to come to the altar. We're going to pray with you. doesn't matter what is it, whether you're not talking to your prayer. That's, don't worry. It's, a, it's none of anyone's business. But I just feel that perhaps this day brings a lot of pain for you. And we want to pray with you. Just come to the altar. Sing a worship song. And as you come to the altar, for whatever reason, you don't look forward to this day. Don't, don't, don't worry about anyone. Uh, just, just come to this altar. We, we're going to be praying with you. Will you just sing? sing? Just sing. Just sing a worship song. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> As your pastor, I'm saying that it's a breast that nest you. Just come to the altar. Don't worry about anyone else. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray with you. No pain no. Just raise your hands if you are here in the altar. Yeah. 
performing your good word. We thank you for healing that you have done. We thank you for turning the hearts of children to that of the mothers. We thank you for all that you have done here today. We honor and magnify your name. In Jesus' name, amen. Please go and celebrate your mother and celebrate mothers. And those that your mothers are in blessed memory, Celebrate them and honor them that they carried you in the womb and that they nursed you. We want to ask all the mothers and mother figures just to go up. There's something prepared for you. Please, you can grab because sometimes your children and your, your husband, they might want to take you out. Okay, so, so just you can just you don't have to stay for too long, but please just have something and then you go. Okay, and you tell them you can still take me out. Amen.